Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on converse, inverse and contrapositive of implication. So it is one of the most important concept in discrete mathematics. It is a very very important concept in competitive examination point of view. Okay. So first of all, we have to know the definition of implication. After that, what is the converse, inverse and contrapositive for implication that we are discussed in this video. Okay. Now, let us consider uh, two statement variables. P is one statement variable and Q is another statement variables. Okay. Let us consider P and Q are two statement variables. Okay. Then the conditional or implication between the two statement variables can be denoted by P conditional Q. Okay. So this can be read it as P conditional Q. P conditional Q. Next or a P implication Q. P implication Q. Next one. In P conditional Q, so P is called as antecedent. P is called as antecedent. And Q is called as consequent. P is, Q is called as consequent. Now, uh, P conditional Q, P conditional Q is false, P conditional Q is false only when P value is equal, P truth value is equal to true and Q truth value is equal to false. Whenever P truth value is a true and Q truth value is a false, then P conditional Q is false. Then in the same way Q conditional P is false only when Q value is equal to true and P value is equal to false. Okay. P Q value is equal to true and P truth value is false. Then Q conditional P is also false. In remaining all cases, among the four possible cases, in this case, P conditional Q is false. In this case, Q conditional P is false. In remaining all cases, P conditional Q is true and Q conditional P is true. Hence, we can say that P conditional Q not equal to Q conditional P. Because in this case, P value true and Q value false, then P conditional Q is false. In this case, Q value true, P value false, Q conditional P is false. Both are different. Hence, we can say that P conditional Q not equal to Q conditional P. Okay. Next one. Now, we have draw the truth table for uh, P conditional Q and Q conditional P. So here, how many number of statement variables? 2. N is equal to 2. P and Q. How many possible truth values? Or how many number of rows in the truth table? So that is 2 power N rows or 2 power N possible truth values. That is 2 power 2. That is equal to 4 rows or 4 possible truth values. Okay. Now, we have to draw the truth table P, Q, P conditional Q, Q conditional P. Okay. Now, what are the four possible truth values? The four possible truth values are true, 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 false, false, true, false, false. Okay. So, when we can say that P conditional Q is false, P conditional Q is false only P value true, 
and q value false then p conditional q is false remaining all cases it is a true okay next q conditional p is false when q value is a true and p value is false then q conditional p is false in remaining all cases it is a true hence we can say that by observing these two columns p conditional q and q conditional p both columns are not equal hence we can say that p conditional q not equal to q conditional p okay p conditional q not equal to q conditional p p implication q not equal to q implication p okay now for p conditional q or p conditional q first one is converse for p conditional q so converse of p conditional q is q conditional p okay p conditional q converse is q conditional p second one is inverse of inverse of p conditional q is negation p conditional negation q okay so this is the inverse of p conditional q third one is contra positive contra positive of p conditional q is negation q conditional negation p okay so this is the contra positive of p conditional q is negation q conditional negation p inverse of p conditional q is negation p conditional negation q converse of p conditional q is q conditional p okay so these are the important most important points okay in the multiple choice uh, converse of p conditional q is q conditional p inverse of p conditional q is negation p conditional negation q contra positive of p conditional q is negation q conditional negation p okay so once again i am telling in briefly so let us consider p and q are two statement variables then the conditional or a implication between the two statement variables is denoted by p conditional q okay so p arrow mark q so that can be read it as p conditional q or a p implication q okay so that means simply we can say that p determines q p determines q in p conditional q p is called as antecedent q is called as consequent before the arrow mark whatever the statement variable is there that can be called as antecedent after the arrow mark whatever the statement variable is there that can be called as consequent okay now p conditional q uh, p conditional q is false only whenever p truth value is a true and a q truth value is a false then p conditional q is false in remaining all cases it is a true next one q conditional p is false only q truth value is a true and a p truth value is false then q conditional p is false only so in remaining all cases it is true so hence we can say that p conditional q not equal to q conditional p so whatever i am telling in the truth table we have to show okay so here how many number of statement variables are there two statement variables that is n is equal to 2 how many number of possible truth values or how many number of rows are there in the truth table that is 2 power n so n is equal to 2 2 power 2 that is 4 rows are 4 possible truth values that are true 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 false false true false false p conditional q is false only 
P value is true, Q value is false, then P conditional Q is false. Remaining all cases it is true. Next, Q conditional P is false only. Q value is true and P value is false. Then Q conditional P is false. Remaining all cases it is true. So by observing this column and this column, both are not same. Hence, we can say that this column not equal to this column. Hence, we can say that P conditional Q not equal to Q conditional P. Okay. Now, for the P condition, for the implication P conditional Q, the converse of P conditional Q is Q conditional P. Inverse of P conditional Q is negation P conditional negation Q. Contrapositive of P conditional Q is negation Q to negation P. Okay. So, and one more important uh, formula. P conditional Q can is logically equivalent to negation P or Q. Negation P or Q. It is one of the most, most important logically equivalence formula. This is the E16 formula. Equivalence formula that is E16. Okay. Next one is another one is uh, another one is P conditional Q is logically equivalent to negation Q to negation P. This is contrapositive formula that is E18 formula. It is one of the most most important point. Okay. Next one is another important one is P or Q is logically P or Q is logically equivalent to negation P conditional Q. Negation P conditional Q. Okay. We have to observe that negation P conditional Q. So negation P conditional Q can be written as negation P or Q. So that is a P or Q. Okay. Yes. P or Q logically equivalent to negation P conditional Q. Okay. So these are the three most most important formulas. So thank you. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please share this video to your friends and classmates. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel name. So Divvela Srinivasarao. Thank you.